Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will be a tutorial on how to create Google Ads account. So if you've never run Google Ads campaigns before and want to start, you'll need to create a new Google Ads account. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire process from start to finish. And the first step is making sure that you're signed into an existing Google account. So if you have a Gmail address, you automatically have a Google account associated with it that you can use. Or for example, if you've ever created a YouTube channel, signed up for Google Drive or used Google Maps, etc., then you likely have a Google account already through those services. However, if for some reason you still don't have an existing Google account, you would need to create one before proceeding. And you can do that simply by going to accounts.google.com to either create a new account or sign into your current one. And once you're signed in, we can then move forward with creating your new Google Ads account. So to get started, go to ads.google.com in your home browser. This will bring you to the Google Ads homepage. Then you want to navigate to the start now button. Go ahead and click that to begin the account creation process. Also, before we proceed, Google frequently offers incentives for new advertisers like free ad credit when you spend a certain amount. So definitely be sure to take advantage of those intro offers if available in your country. Once you've clicked on the start now button, you'll be taken through a step-by-step -step flow to get your account created. Google is going to ask you to use existing business information tied to your account to pre-populate your new ads account. This could save you time, so select yes if available. After that, you'll be prompted to enter your business name exactly as you want it to appear in your ads account. And you'll need to input the website URL that you want to advertise so people clicking your ads get sent to your site. It will also then scan your website which may take a few seconds and this allows their system to learn more about your business. You can then select your primary advertising goal for this new account, whether that's getting more calls, generating leads, increasing traffic, etc. Choose the main goal that you want to optimize for. And if you have Google Analytics installed on your site, the next page may allow you to connect your analytics and ads account together. Definitely do this if possible for better tracking. Google will also ask you to set up the conversion tracking, meaning defining the actions on your site that you want to optimize your campaigns for. If for example, let's say I want to track when someone schedules an appointment on my site after clicking my ad, you can select customers schedule appointments as the conversion action and input the URL of the thank you page that they get to see after booking the confirmation page. And this allows Google to optimize my ads to get more people to ultimately schedule appointments. So take the time to set this one up properly based on your goals. Next, Google will want you to create your first ad campaign right within the account signup process. And to do that, go ahead and click through the campaign creation just to complete the account setup, but don't actually run the campaign long term. The express setup does not allow you to properly target keywords or set beds or create ads. So it's better to pause it and then create a full campaign later. If you created your dummy first campaign, you will then move on to the billing setup. For that, you need to choose your country for billing purposes, make sure it's accurate. And next, you'll need to input your business name, address, and contact information under customer info, double check it's all correct. And in the payment section, you can select your preferred payment method, whether PayPal or credit debit card, etc. And that's it, once billing details are input, you can submit and finish your Google Ads account creation. Once your base account is set up, here are some best practices for creating your first optimized Google Ads campaign. And the most critical starting point is doing keyword research to identify high intent keywords aligned with your products or services. So you can identify commercial intent keywords like buy, get, order, etc. Look at keyword difficulty and competitions on tools such as SEMrush. And make sure that your keywords relate to services that you provide. And go beyond just keywords, look at similar terms, questions, comparisons. And once you've compiled your keyword list, it's time to organize them into ad groups around specific product lines and services. You will also want to work on crafting compelling ads that grab attention and contain your keywords. Set your bids appropriately based on the value a conversion brings, don't just use Google's suggested bids. Following these steps will get you started on running your new Google Ads account successfully. And as you gather data from running campaigns, you can further optimize elements such as removing low performing keywords with no conversions or adding new keywords seeing opportunity. You can also increase the bids on high converting keywords or changing ad copy that is underperforming and adjust your ad groups and organizations. So the best step here is to set aside time each week to analyze your metrics and implement changes. This improves performance over time. 
And that will be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found today's video to be helpful or enjoyable to watch, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we make.